Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm Captain Dayla and today we are going to be talking about helpful tips you can do in Monster Hunter Stories 2. So sit back, enjoy, have a cup of tea and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and let's get started. So tip number one get gold and rainbow eggs they have a better genes and stats for your monsters tip number two fully upgrade your armor and weapons as soon as you unlock them tip number three do side missions to get extra xp and bottle caps you can do this by talking to the villagers in each village you visit. Tip number four, get the revival talisman from the Minx Ink Cat as soon as you unlock him. This will help you in tough battles as the revival talisman restores HP after every turn. Tip number five, Get the Vitality, Strength and Defense boosting items from the Minx Ink Cat to improve your stats and permanently improve the stats of your monsters too. Tip number six, upgrade your stables to hold more monsters. This will allow you to get more eggs and stronger monsters. And this can be done by buying the blueprint from the Minx Ink Cat once you unlock it for bottle caps. Tip number seven, max out your monsters by combining genes via the right of channeling. By doing this, you will um, max out their attacks and you'll be able to give them different abilities such as anti-paralysis, anti-poison, um, which will help you in battle. Tip number eight, battle all new monsters in every area you come across to unlock new armor and weapons. Tip number 11 may seem an obvious one, but take your time and grind to level up. This will help you gain an advantage, explore the area, and upgrade your monsters. Always have plenty of potions, high potions, and max potions in your bag to help you in those tough battles. Tip number 12. The best eggs are found in gold rare dens. Tip number 13, you can get more bottle caps from Everdens. Now these Everdens are found in each area and they are marked on your map. Tip number 14, check out your rider's notes. It will give you information on all of the monsters that you have battled and include in the monsters that you want to get. Tip number 15, make sure you have monsters in your party that can jump climb swim and break boulders this will help you get chests and explore new areas tip number 16 always gather items from the gold rocks as they sometimes contain talismans and other rare items finally tip number 17 Gold items such as bugs, rocks and bones contain rarer items. The ones that you find in the overworld such as um, the bugs that are flying around or the stones that are on the floor um, or the rack of ribs that you find. If you find them in a gold colour they contain rarer items such as talismans, large bones and rare bugs. And here's a bonus tip, always use your prayer pot. The prayer pot does level up, you can um, pray to improve your gathering, your um, chance of finding rare items, rare eggs. You can offer the prayer pot charms that can increase your defense, that can increase your attack. Um, I think the prayer pot 
prayer pot levels up to level 20 so it's definitely worth using the prayer pot as much as you can so guys if you have found this video helpful then don't forget to hit the like bu button subscribe for more content and i will see you in the next video bye bye